it was a high old summer morning. The branches in the old conker tree were thinning quite early. The birds jostled through the best twig. Moggy Malone was in tune with music that wasn't as she stepped into an aerobic session. On the other hand, Poodle Princess performed mystical movements with an oriental flavour. It was a yurt, said Moggy Malone. No, darling, said Poodle Princess. Bawa, Arba, Gazebo even. It was a yurt, said Moggy, and turned her music up. Yes, Rhubarb heard himself say out loud. What are you looking at? Howled Custard. I have an idea for a new game, a sport even you could join in, Rhubarb shrugged. What? Me? You wouldn't get me involved in no sport, <laughs> said Custard with a yawn. But you're already involved. You've already looked, said Rhubarb triumphantly, and explained how he'd seen Custard lying on the fence, exercising while looking. Like this. Exercise? Looking? I wasn't doing no looking, wailed Custard, as Rhubarb skipped off to finalise his new looking sport. Gentle physical movement for those watching, and action for those playing. <laughs> I am on to a winner. Barked Rhubarb. I can't wait, muttered Custard, and went back to listening to Poodle Princess and Moggy Malone. Mouse! Oh, there you are. What, what are you doing up there? I... inquired Rhubarb. Surveillance. Surveying you, surveying Custard, surveying Moggy Malone and Poodle Princess working out and meditating, <laughs> said Mouse. <laughs> Surveillance, eh? Rhubarb thought blankly. So that's looking listening and now surveillance. I'll have to call my new sport something really different. What? asked Mouse. And Rhubarb said, pay attention. And so that, my dear Roden Scholar, is how I see it. Got it? Yes! A brand new sport, said Mouse with great enthusiasm. So, you like it then, said Rhubarb. Yes, said Mouse. Up you go, then. Let's get this new sport up and running, so to say, chuckled Rhubarb. And the screen lit up. As Rhubarb stopped pacing the lawn in a measuring kind of way, he announced the name of his new sport, Wibbling, and then sliced the air with an imaginary ricochet, his new, specially designed bat. Wibbling! The great new sport for players and spectators. All welcome, he heralded. And swaggered across the lawn as the birds swelled on a great wave. Wibbling? What kind of game is that? Custard wailed from the fence. Wibbling! The great new looking sport! My sport! My slogan! shouted Rhubarb, and Moggy Malone and Poodle Princess both looked in unison. Just in time for the new sport to begin, Post Dog's Weasels finished building the Wibbling Wall fitted the large red wibble wheel and adjusted the wibble launcher in the centre of the lawn. Moggy Malone was poised on one side of the lawn while Poodle Princess was ready on the other. Mouse was perched on a tall stool at the centre of things and was mic'd up. Rhubarb stood waiting with his hands behind his back next to the large red wibble wheel. Quiet, please, called Mouse and the crowd hushed and the pressure was on. Green ball one to Poodle Princess, Mouse squeaked quietly. Rhubarb turned the wheel. A rumble rumbled from under the lawn, and a large iron ball was fired towards Poodle Princess. <coughs> she thumped the ball with her ricochet and returned it. Moggy Malone slammed it back, and the thunder of the drumming began. seen anything like it and they were involved in the game. The ball smashed into the brick wall. Wibble to Poodle Princess, Mouse called, and the crowd cheered while Moggy Malone drummed her ricochet nervously. Quiet please, said Mouse. Blue ball two to Moggy Malone. The machinery groaned and creaked under the weight of blue ball two. The ball began its flight towards Moggy Malone. Oh. And 
back to Poodle Princess. Uh. 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 God blimey! The handle on her bat snapped in half. Rookie blurted. Wibble, mug him alone, called Mouse. And as the dark clouds gathered over the lawn, Red Ball 3, the heaviest in international wibbling, was requested, and Rhubarb had to be helped by several weasels. Quiet, please, called Mouse. Red Ball was away. The crowd stood. Gazebo! Uh. Uh. Urban! Yurt! 400 miles an hour, announced Mouse, and the birds looked this way. Right. Fault! shouted Rhubarb. Fault! Fault! he barked as the wibbling crash went to berserk. Just as it started. Wiz, the home of ABCs, one two threes, and all your favourite kids TV characters. Now let's find Kids TV, or I can press this microphone. Wiz, that's how easy it is.